What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. If you did not notice, I changed the bulb today. I hope this is a high efficiency bulb, but I'm not sure. I bet if we asked Foodie, she would say it's the freshest bulb we've ever had. And I also did turn on memberships. Been a while that I've wanted to do this, but I wanted to do it right. Kind of went through the process, got some really, really low prices from what YouTube allows you to offer, and really look forward to creating content for you guys that isn't solely Girl World. I'll, I'll do some exclusive videos there, but outside of Girl World enough where it'll still be interesting to someone that likes Girl World content, but not something that I would normally just put up on my page. Kind of the longer form videos like I did with uh, Controla, whatever that girl's name was that just had the streaming accident. So I did want to parlay this into Foodie talking about her marriage during the reaction to a reaction she did with Milk Tea. And I love Milk Tea's channel. Very well spoken, extremely educated, had lived in the Middle East, probably has a better understanding of both policy and procedure there than Foodie and Sala combined, which... I digress. It, it doesn't take a whole lot to say that, but she seemingly does fully understand the processes Foodie should have been going through to get this marriage done. And basically, Foodie continues this stance of, we don't owe you a marriage contract. And she is correct. She doesn't owe anyone anything. But the problem is she puts this marriage on such a pedestal. She uses it when she speaks about other creators. She constantly infers her rings and pictures and only says, you know, this is my husband. And, you know, it's just something that we've come to understand is part of what she's doing right now with her content as far as even going out and doing couples vlogs, right? And when she goes on and says, you know, our deal, right, what does that mean? You know, I've never heard somebody refer to a marriage as, you know, this is our deal, right? The deal of, you know, you're making content for him, putting it on a channel that he owns while you're living there rent-free. Like, what is the deal? That doesn't really make sense. It sounds more like a business arrangement, which, by the way, you tried to have with Natter. Remember when you wanted to get the apartment for him to stay in and then you were going to be content creators? Th this just harkens back when you talk about the deal to those natter days with me. And then she says, listen, it's none of your business, who cares? But then says, you know, would it deter you from watching? And I think that's such an interesting opinion for her to have because I don't think it would. You know, whether they were married or not does not matter. I don't think it changes the perception of the content. I don't think it changes whether people would watch or not, which goes back to my original point is she's made it into such a big deal. She's thrown it in everyone's face. She's used it against other creators. And that is why people want some type of justification for their marriage marriage or some rationale for when they got married because the timeline we have right now doesn't actually make a lot of sense and as I said for someone so proud of this marriage all we've ever seen is a ring and some images taken in and outside of a courthouse which really doesn't jive with someone that is this proud of having their partner create a YouTube channel with them and go at other channels saying, what do you have? Because I've got my happy marriage over here while I'm doing a reaction to a reaction channel. And oh, by the way, I continued to eat on camera just before this because that is what we're probably going to get the most of when she heads back to Canada this time next week. And that to me is going to be really interesting because what is going to happen? Is she going to have that business relationship with Natter again? Because I think they've both seen now cut and dry. When she's talking about Natter, when her and Natter are going back and forth, both of them get substantially higher views and revenue. And when they're not, most people have genuinely lost interest in what she's doing, both from a couple's channel and just a sitting down and eating while she talks on camera perspective. And it's time for her to kind of change the way things go. And I think the way she's constantly changed the way things went is by going out and creating drama for people to react to. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. And you know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.